Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from CraftTestDummies.com and today I'm going to talk to you about the Martha Stewart Crafts Glass Paint line. So if you're familiar with Martha Stewart Crafts Paint, um, you'll know that it actually can be used on glass. Um, but they've decided to expand this line to create more finishes that would be glass specific. And some of those include um, glosses, including a transparent gloss, um, an opaque gloss, and um, a metallic, which is opaque, and then they have the translucent ones like um, a frost and a fine glitter. So I'll have more information about all the different versions on my blog, but this just kind of lets you know that there are a lot that are glass specific. So one thing I want to point out is the packaging. Um, unlike the other Martha Stewart paints, these come with that fine tip in every single bottle. So when you go to um, Take off the cap, you can use it right away to create nice little dots or lines or whatever, which makes it really handy. You'll also notice that no matter what paint it is, it's going to go on opaque and then it will dry to its final finish later on. When you go to put the cap back on, there is a little notch in the cap portions so that it snaps on and uh, keeps it from drying out, which is a nice little feature. Thank you for adding that, Martha Stewart people. So here are some swatches, so you can kind of see what they look like. These are dry on the glass. They've been, uh, they're about three days old now. Um, so this is the glass opaque here at the bottom. I'm sorry, gloss opaque. That means that this swirl is actually fairly shiny, um, but then you can't really see through it. This is only one coat, but you can see it really is very obscured. Um, if you want it to be really, really opaque, I'd put at least two coats on. You do see the breast strokes also, so it might be better to use like a foam pouncer or a little roller. So the next one here, this would be the translucent frost, and true to its name, it is, gives a frosty type of texture. You can't see through it um, at all. It looks like glass etching cream, but without you know the chemicals. So um, also on the spiral, it isn't glossy. It is a matte finish. And then here at the top, this is the transparent gloss. Again, you can see that it's a glossy finish, very glassy, um, but you can absolutely see all the way through it. You could read text through it. Um, this is a great simulation for like those blue bell jars, the mason jars that everybody's so crazy about. You can take plain one and paint it with this and it's a reasonable facsimile. So let me show you the next swatch. This shows you some of the metallics um, and they are glossy and they are opaque. And here I just did like a quick swatch of what one uh, coat looks like, what two coats look like, and then three coats. And I'll put my hand underneath it so you can see that really by the second coat, it's fairly opaque and you can't see through it at all. Um, for some reason, this black version was really runny. And um, so I just kind of did this and yeah, it just ran all over everywhere. Um, now the last one I'm gonna talk about, this is the fine glitter. And again, it's transparent. You can see all the way through it. It just adds a little bit of sparkle and shine. It's really pretty. Um, but if you're going to use this, don't oven cure it. It's the only paint in the line that says do not put it in the oven. Everything else you can cure in the oven at 350. You put it in a cold oven, you turn it on, you let it cure for an hour, you turn off the oven, you let it cool down in the oven. And then don't use it for 72 hours, but it's cured. Otherwise, your other alternative is to just let it air cure for 21 days. And then after that, it's dishwasher safe. So let me show you a little votive cup that I did, just the top with a little foamy pouncer because I like that brushed metal look. Um, I put this through the oven and when it came out, I did a little scratchy scratch test with my thumbnail and you can see, yes, you can still scratch it off even after it's gone through the oven. Um, not very well, but it, it, you know, it's possible. Uh, I also put this through this through the dishwasher and um, it came out really well, but it was when it was still warm, I could scratch it off. Now, you know what, I'm trying now and now that it's fully, eh, I can still get a little bit off there. Eh. So just note to self that even though it is dishwasher safe, it doesn't mean that it's an enamel. It will scratch off it with wear and tear. So just manage your expectations, as we say. So, but I like the way it looks. I think it's a quick way to dress up some plain glass items. So I'm also working on some ceramic ornaments and I just wanted to add that little bit of gold at the top to make it look like a light bulb. And um, it does add a little bit of texture too. 
So I like that. I think that's kind of cool. So I think that's really pretty and I'll be working on a project for this. And then here's a little sneaky peek of a project that I'll be putting up very soon. This is a glass bowl, obviously, that I did with some different colors and I used the silk screens to create that. So also, just so you know, if you're going to use these for food, please do not put them on a surface that will come in direct contact with your food. While it is non-toxic, that doesn't mean that it's actually food safe, huh? So um, here I painted on the outside of the bowl and you can feel the texture, you know, um, it gives it a little bit of a texture there. Um, but that way when I put my dip on the inside of the bowl, it will not come in contact with the paints. So that's my little video overview. Um, there will be a full review on crafttestummies.com very, very soon if it's not there already. Feel free to leave me a comment or a question if you have anything you'd like to know more in particular about the Martha Stewart Crafts Glass Paint Line by Plaid. Thank you so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative just because, you know, that lets me know that I'm doing my job right. So y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.